Hello everybody. Today we're going to be replacing the cabin air filter for a 2015 Volvo S60. This Volvo back behind me here. Um, it's a 2015 like I said. I've never replaced the cabin filter in it. I bought it used about a year and a half ago. Um, and I don't know if the cabin filter was changed ever prior to me purchasing it. So I'm thinking it's a little overdue, probably. Um, getting to this is a straightforward sounding proposition, but it can be a little bit challenging, I think, because it's in a tight space to work with. Um, never done this. I I've, I've know how to do it on my 2009, which is over here. So we're going to give it a try on this one and see what we can find out. Let's see what we got. Um, underneath the uh, glove compartment where we're going to have to access this. All right, we're looking in the car at the passenger side underneath the glove compartment. And I've got, actually I want to get this out of the way because I know I have to peel back part of the carpet there and this is gonna be in the way. So let's just kind of set that off to the side. Now up under here, this is the um, glove box, under here there's a plate that has two screws here and over on this side that's two uh, T25 Torx. We're going to have to remove those and drop that plate down. The hardest part is working on this is a pain. Because you gotta like be super flexible. I'm trying to use the camera to see what I'm doing and I can't. So let me get these screws out real quick and we'll uh, pop that plate out. Alrighty, I have the screws out. As you can see there, I should just have to pop this down. And you gotta be careful because there, I can see up in there. Where am I? Right there is a clip. This There's a little tab that this pops into right there. If, if you're not careful, this happens. The uh, light, the lens and everything separates on this. They just, this, sorry about that. This lens comes out of the hole right there. All you have to do is unclip this. It's just a little tab that you push. It's easier to do with two hands though. And that will come right out. See there's a little tab that you depress right there. And then it'll come off of the, oh maybe the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. And this whole thing comes out. So if this happens, let me, let me take you off to the outside of the car here and show you how to put that back together. Alrighty, we're out of the car. This is the light assembly. It's just a little tiny light of some sort. Uh, I don't even know if you replace it. I think it's an LED. You might replace the whole thing here. But this sits underneath here and this clips onto it. So I don't know if I can do this one handed. No, I can't. I can't do it one-handed. Let me go get a tripod. All right, let's try it this way. So this little piece here, you just set up underneath like that. And I believe this tab piece here faces toward there. Hold it into position. And take your bulb piece with your clip here. This is where the wire was over on this side. And just... Clip it back in. Put this end in first, kind of angle it in, and then push, and that'll hold it for itself. Yeah, see that tab locks it right into place there, and it's not going anywhere. So if yours falls out like mine did, that's how you get that back in there. So let's go check out the cabin air filter. Okay, now that this piece is all disconnected, we've got to pull the carpet back here. Pull that back out of the way. 
and kind of hold it down the best that you can. And if I look up in here, get my light in here, you're going to see a fuse box and you're going to see back there a cover plate. That's where your filter goes. So it's like up under, here's the level Um, here's a level of this, so as I'm looking under the um, glove box, I'm looking way up under there. I'm going up above the level of the box, up into the dash. So as I'm looking in here, that whole assembly is sticking up up into here, up back behind the glove box. So it's a pain to get down under there. You've gotta be like a contortionist. So, holding this out of the way, I might have to find something to hold that. And then there should be a clip that you can pop out to remove this fuse box. Um, I think up on top of this, there is a clip that you can uh, get your finger on but I can't hold the camera and do all that at the same time so I'm gonna get my face up in there and look at it first all right just as I suspected there was a clip to remove this fuse block box it just sits in on these two little posts on the bottom and there's a tab on the top that you can put your finger up on and feel around for to release it I've got to get this clip out right here though you can see there's just a tab to release it so let me get that out and then I'll be able to show you the rest of that all right, I've got that out, and if you look right here, set my flashlight up, there's this little tab right here. All you got to do is run your hand up along the top edge, and when you feel this, you'll put your finger up against this, and you'll feel it stop. Just push down on it and pull out, and it'll pop right loose. So it just clips in here, and you can... Let's see if we can see. It sits in down on those P tabs there. And then that little tab right there in the center, it just hooks right onto that. Now the door for your um, air box is uh, right here. And you gotta grab these tabs and pop that sucker off. And there is my air filter back there. Uh, uh, see what a pain that sucker is to get to get the debris out and here is my air filter now let's take this out here and take a look at the factory next to the replacement that I got hang on alright here we go this is the old one that's the new one. You can tell the difference just by looking at the pleats. This has got uh, activated charcoal in it that helps um, trap odors as well. I don't know if the original one did or not. It may have, it may not have, but you can see how dirty this sucker is. Look at all the contaminants and grime this sucker has picked up out of the air in its lifetime. Look at all that. That is amazing. Oh, look at down there. <laughs> is that a bug or? I'm not sure what that is. But this is the side that captures the air. The air goes into this side and comes out this side, presumably clean. And on the new one, you've got an airflow that shows the arrows, and the arrows go toward the cabin of the vehicle, and this goes toward the engine side right here. Now, I've got to take this thing slide it into where this one came out of and uh, try to fit it back in there and as you can see it's a tight spot so it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get this in let's let's see what we if I can get it uh, in there one-handed okay so there's that and you can see there's that clip hanging down right there I need a oh that'll that'll hold itself out of the way there I think where'd we go yeah that little blue clip there's where this slots back into and it is a bit of a pain to kind of get this thing up in there especially one-handed 
is there's no straight shot. You're gonna have to bend this thing. So, I don't know. I wish there was a way I could set you guys up so you could watch that, but I don't know if I can. And I'm gonna try to kind of lean you up right here and see if you can watch my pain as I try to get this thing up in there. Might have to squish it a bit. Get it started. Wow, this is... This is not fun. They did not make this to be easy, did they? Uh, okay, I think I got it up started. I just kind of got to work it in. Yes, there we go. So you've got to bend it <laughs> to get it in. And then I take this, hook it back on those clips. I can't see up in there all the way. I think something's sticking out. Alright, I got that in. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit about what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take these and put them over toward there. Let's see, where did this go? Oh, up here. I think I can put that in afterwards. Clip that back on. All right, all that stuff is back in there. I take my carpet, pop it back in place, and hopefully you could see all of that. Now I just got to pop that plate back up in there, clip my light in, and uh, we'll be done. Let's see if I can set you guys so you can kind of sort of see that I can't see what the camera is seeing, so I apologize. Plug that back in. Pop that into its slot. Pop that on, and all I've got to do is put those two T25 Torx in. and I will be done. Whew! Uh, they do say that uh, you want to plan about 20 minutes for this. I think we were able to do it a little bit quicker than that. Um, if you've never done this before, you are going to have to get kind of forceful with this. Uh, you can't really be gentle with some of this, especially putting that filter back in. That sucker had to actually roll and bend itself in like an old roll-top desk to get it into place. So it was a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, but it is in, and I shouldn't have to worry about it for... They, they recommend replacing these about every year. Um, if you're on a dirt road or something especially, I would definitely go once a year. Um... Otherwise, it's up to you, you know, after a year, if you want to try it when you first got, get your Volvo and see what it looks like, see what it looks like. If it looks like it's fine and could go longer, next time go a little bit longer. But um, thank goodness that they only recommend this once a year because it is a pain. So hopefully you guys got something out of that. I know I learned something along the way, so I'll talk to you later.